Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Stephen, with the Handmaidens. Um, just taking a break, doing some wood cutting, and <clears throat> it made me think that you guys might want to be burning wood too this year. With the price of fuel, the price of electricity, the price of propane, wood heat is a great option that is extremely affordable. If you were affected by the recession, like everybody else in this country, then wood heat might be for you. My family and I, we're a family of six. We've been burning wood heat for as long as I've owned that, this house. And my family that I grew up in, we burned wood heat because it, well, it's great for the environment. There's a lot of benefits to burning wood heat. Uh, it's good for the environment. It's carbon neutral, which means that the same amount of carbon emissions that the tree puts out from falling down and decomposing in the woods, you put out into the atmosphere by using your chimneys. <coughs> Got Ralph here with me. He's keeping me company. Say hi, Ralph. Yeah, he's not gonna say hi. But, so what you're gonna want to do is get yourself an area. First, you need to be able to stack your wood somewhere. What I've got are some pallets that I put up so everything's up in the air so the breeze can blow through it and the wood can dry properly, okay? I, as you can see, I don't have much wood right now, but that's why I'm cutting wood up right now that I have felled in seasons past. The second thing you're gonna wanna do if you're doing it yourself is you're going to want to cut your wood in advance. I cut some trees down on my property and then I let them sit for a couple of years and so they're pretty seasoned right now. You wanna have your moisture content down so the wood burns efficiently and also makes it safe to burn so you don't get those nasty chimney fires you hear about on the news that gives burning wood a bad rap. I'm just playing fetch with Ralph too as I'm doing this video. So secondly, so you're gonna need wood. Up so far today, I've got a uh, chainsaw with a 20 inch bar. So I just used the bar to, uh, to measure with. I, Here's the bar. It's a Husqvarna 455 Rancher. And that's more than enough uh, saw to, to use to cut up, cut wood for your home. You want you want to have uh, an 18 inch or a 20 inch bar for, for cutting up wood. 16 inch bars are great for uh, doing boughs. And it's, it's, but it's not enough to cut through a log because they're not big enough and you'd have to make multiple cuts to successfully get one cut. So you got the chainsaw, it's it's time to cut the wood. You go and you, you cut the wood. My suggestion would be to not fell your trees right, right away because that requires a lot of, uh, a lot of practice with the chainsaw. If you're new to using a chainsaw, I would suggest calling up an arborist or your town municipalities and find out if there's any trees that have been felled nearby. People have trees taken down in their properties all the time and they don't want to deal with them. So you can go and you can cut them up, put them in your vehicle, bring them home, split them up, and then burn them. So that's that's a, that's one option. Or uh, what my mother used to do was get call up a tree company and have tracks of loads delivered. And what that did was it gave us log lengths of wood for me as the teenage son to cut them up and deal with them safely without having to deal with the dangers of uh, felling trees. For those of you who don't know, felling trees just means cutting them down. It's, a, it's the term that you use. <clears throat> so you're also going to need safety glasses hearing protection, and gloves, long sleeves, and pants. Now, uh, some people like to use uh, chaps. I don't have any, I never had them, but if you, uh, if you do get them, the technology behind them is if the chain goes into your leg, uh, it binds up the saw before it cuts flesh. So that sounds pretty cool. I just haven't gotten them yet. Um, I don't do this for a living, so uh, the times that I do cut, it's uh, it's it's not it's not exactly a priority. And also, what you're going to want to do is have 
people at least know where you are if they're not there to be there with you to help. A helping hand makes light work and also if you cut yourself there's somebody to help you in case of an emergency. They can call for 911, they can uh, administer first aid if they know how. Um, at the very least they can keep you company. So guys, like I said, fuel prices are high, winters aren't going to stop getting cold. Get out there and burn some wood. Uh, the the earth will appreciate it. And your wallets will too. Alright guys, like, subscribe, uh, comment below. Let me know if you're burning wood and if so, what type of wood. I'm burning oak this year. Alright, thanks guys. Bye.